I opened my TikTok account on the 1st of August last year. It is now eight months later. I opened it in 2022, Christmas came, and now we're in April. And I've grown that account from zero, zero, nothing, nobody, didn't know how to use TikTok, to over 600,000 subscribers. The reason I'm making this video and it might seem like, oh, why is this on this channel? What's happening here? Because I know a lot of you want to do great things in the world. A lot of you have things inside you that you wanna express. A lot of you want to have a platform to express it on. And because I've seen so many videos in the past, I don't know, I got a bit fascinated by them about how people grew their YouTube accounts, how people grew their Instagram accounts and all that jazz. This is not the type of video where I'm going to give you hacks. I'm not going to give you, oh, this is the lowdown. This is the special super duper tip. I'm just going to tell you exactly how I grew it and why it's possible and what the mind shift was that changed it for me. For context, professionally, I was an actor and a model. I know, shocking. How did she model with that face? Gosh, I'm joking. And then I opened an Instagram and I used to do just fashion YouTube videos and fashion Instagram style videos, lifestyle, all that jazz. In the background, what actually interested me when I picked up, I don't know what it was, I think it was a Tony Robbins book, it was Unleash the Giant Within. When I opened that kind of literature and I started studying like interpersonal relationships and all these things, I then went and did a diploma in life coaching. But all of that was not on my socials. It was not on my Instagram. It was never to be seen, never to be found. It was almost like my private world. Because I thought this is just what I want to do in my career later is just what fascinates me and people would not be interested in that now. People want fashion, people want yes, people want all that jazz. YouTube, I used to do luxury bag unboxings, which was cool. That was still a part of my personality. I like a bit of luxury. I like a bit of that. Not so much anymore as in now I have it. I've itched that itch, but that's what I thought people wanted to see. And I used to look on YouTube at night and, and see these videos about like, be consistent, be that one, be this one, be the other one. And the reason I am talking about TikTok on this is because that growth was quite large from zero to nothing, so I can quantify it. This channel's also almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is cool. Wouldn't it be funny if you're watching this video and it's over that? You know what I mean? That would be cool, wouldn't it? And that, it took me five years to grow a channel to 25,000, talking about things I kind of like. And then in the last three months, since I've started posting on this channel, a different style of content, my secret life content, my life coaching content, the person who I really am content, I think this video is an ode to authenticity. This video goes beyond creating a TikTok or a YouTube. This video goes to speak to the fact that you are most precious, most intricately, divinely positioned as you naturally are and not as a person that you could pretend, um, pretend to be, right? You are exactly who you need to be if you come at it authentically. And I used to hear these videos like, be authentic, be authentic. What? what do you mean be authentic? Like I'm pr a pretty authentic person. And I remember the days of YouTube where everyone's like, hi everybody, my name is Karen. That's not my personality. I'm pretty monotone, I'm pretty authentic. I'm pretty um, down to earth. You guys watch my videos, you know what I'm like. How did I grow it to that extent? I'm gonna give you step by step, okay? Number one, most pivotal, most non-negotiable rule is you have to give people entertainment or education or a life-changing concept that they will keep coming back for. It's not about niche. Forget the niche, there's a niche, put it in the bin. It's not about that. It's about the fact that you need to give people value in their life. If you are not giving people value, they don't care about you. And as much as we don't understand that because we were raised on the Kardashians who just live and we watch them, what we fail to understand is that they don't just live. They give us massive value propositions. And you can go off in the comments, but I will stand on this hill until the cows come home because they give us a glimpse into the glamorous life. They give us a glimpse into what it's like to have siblings. That's what they do for me personally. I used to watch them when I was younger and I'm an only child and I was like, oh, so that's what it's like to have siblings and sisters and they fight. Oh, exciting. You know what I mean? Everything gives you a value prop. 
if you just want to vlog and film your life or if you're on TikTok and you just want to do daily uploads of like your life, you need to be so damn authentic and, and documenting just like the most authentic stuff that people cannot um, go past you. What I started to document is my learnings and my theories on feminine energy and attraction principles. I have been studying 10 years in this field and not speaking on it, but working privately behind the scenes on it. And what I thought when I opened my TikTok was, you know what? I could talk three, four, five times a day about new concepts and ideas, things that I've thought of. I've got this bucket of things that I can divulge. For you, it might be makeup. For someone else, it might be cars. For someone else, it might be just comedy. But I can bring that much value. So that's point number one. You've got to give value to somebody. Even if it's just a daily vlog, it's got to be very authentic. If it's information, it's got to be very resourceful. For me, it was all these theories and ideas I had conceptualized around what it is to be a woman, how you have a successful relationship, and how you thrive in this world. And I thought, forget it. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to open TikTok and just see how it goes and talk about all these things that I'm interested in. Nothing happened for 10 days and then suddenly boom. Because... <laughs> I was talking about stuff that was so authentic to me, so studied and so learned and so theorized that you cannot sway me on it. We can have a debate and everything, but I have conceptualized an idea in my head that has taken me a long time to get. If you've got something like that in your life, you need to become the expert in your field and what that is. You cannot have the audacity to think that you will hop online and just become popular for the sake of it. Every single popular person online is popular because they're delivering something. It might even be comfort or humor, but they are delivering something. It's not just by the grace of whatever. Sometimes it's just because the person is so damn good looking. That could be your thing. I don't know, that wasn't mine. When I was doing fashion blogging for so long, people can see the fact that, yeah, I kind of like fashion, but to be honest, I don't really give a damn. You know what I mean? Like, I would never meet you for coffee and sit and talk to you about fashion. That would not happen. If you ask me where something's from, I like that. We're going to talk about it, but we're going to move on about how to conquer the world and how to be like, like, how to manifest like the best future for yourself. That's just me. And I think that authenticity hit. Number two, I recorded without makeup, without anything. I use filters on there because sometimes I look so like I literally woke up, my eye cracked open and I've got something to say. That was my channel to not get ready, to not manufacture, to not cultivate, to not do something. TikTok responds to just bam, do it. I was able to go on there several times a day, three times a day, five times a day because I was not fast about how I looked. I decided this is not about my looks, it's about the idea and the concept. And yes, I'm talking about being feminine and yes, I'm talking about being in your power as a woman and part of it is your attractiveness. But I believe I have enough just human charisma to get away with looking like a hot mess. That's not a conceited thing to say. I, I just hope that I do. If I don't, then keep it stepping, that's fine. But I, I just had to rely on that and tell myself that, that it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna come on here and appear as I am. What did that cause to do? That caused to do two things. I now have a lot to say because the subject I um, chose actually gave value. I was talking about how somebody can create the life they want. And, and be the type of woman that they want to appear. So I'm giving value to the person. And number two, I have so much to say and my barrier is not my makeup or how I look. I can just get on there. Look, if you always look super hot every day with makeup on, then that's great. You can do that, but that's not me. I have a toddler. I have a wild life. I cannot be like that every day. So I created a, a place where I can create every day and TikTok, YouTube, all of these platforms, they love it. So I was on there giving value three to four times a day. And I wasn't worried about what I looked like, what I sounded like, what I this, what I that. I get emails right now with editors telling me, hey, you do really well. Like um, we could edit the videos for you and we can do this for you and they would do so well. They don't, they don't do well. I said to one editor, sure, let's do it. Flopped. Why? Because people just want authentic. Stop sidetracking yourself and pretending that it's not you, it is you. It's the fact that you haven't chosen something that is flowing out of you. You have not chosen your true vocation. 
It's not the fact that you haven't worked hard enough and it's not the fact that you don't edit cool enough. It's not those things. It's the fact that you have not chosen the thing. And this can apply across anything. It doesn't have to be TikTok or Instagram or, or YouTube or social media. It can be anything. When something flows through you, it's, it's, it's not a questionable thing. So as it started growing, I responded to all of my comments. That's the, that's the third thing. You have to be there and you have to be authentic and you have to be responsive and you have to do that. I think for about seven to six months, I posted every single day, my guy, every single day because the bank of information in my head was so much and I didn't care about what I looked like. So you can go on a lot of videos. You might see them telling you, this is the thing, post at this time, don't post at this time. But the thing is that's taking up your brain space. That's taking up brain capacity when you could actually be creating, not consuming. When you get to a place where you think, who am I in this world? Who do I want to appear? And you start to produce and just document what you're thinking about. Gary Vaynerchuk says it, you document, you don't create. I wasn't creating anything. I was just documenting my thoughts and ideas. And then somebody would say, no, I think men are this. And I'd be like, well, actually it's this because I already had formed ideas about it. Everything that people said to me, I could reply with, I could respond with. You see, if I was a natural fashionista who wore three different outfits a day, like clueless, that channel would have taken off because everyone would have been like, oh my God, she's obsessed with this. It's crazy. I want to see this. But if it's not that, then it's not authentic. And I think that was my lesson. Authenticity isn't about being a casual, approachable person, because that's what I kind of always equated it to. I always equated it to being this like friendly guy, like, hey guys, it's me, it's me, let's be friends. But no, authenticity is like, what, what is your pulse made of? Like what, what makes your heart beat? Like what is it that makes you, you? If you were an expert on TV talking about something, what would you be talking about? Organic gardens? That could be you. Do you know, sometimes I follow people and um, I read books about people and all these things and things I'm not even interested in, like Italian cooking or something, since we're on the cooking and vegetable subject, because this person just embodies that. They embody that life. And truly and authentically, I grew the TikTok so much that um, I saw a gap in um, my course, like, where my course came from, I saw a gap in the market where people used to ask me, what's a good book on feminine energy? What's a good book on feminine energy? And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. I've made up this whole concept for like 10 years. So I released the 20 feminine energy principles. It's under two hours. It's a masterclass of the 20 principles I live by to be in my feminine energy. And I opened a website. So it created and cultivated a business for me outside of me being silent about my um, life coaching. It's now created a side business for me. So I implore you that if you really want to grow your TikTok, take it back or your YouTube or anything to what is it I can talk about endlessly. I need to make how many weeks are there in the year? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. 52? God knows, right? Can I talk about it? 52 subjects for 30 minutes for a YouTube video. And people say, oh, that's a lot of TikToks to make. Three, three TikToks a day. That's three 30 seconds. What can you talk about that much? Maybe you have three cats and you just want to document their life. Everyone has it in them to create something beautiful and interesting. And I think in this time of AI, AI should be writing our emails and cleaning our floor and, you know, doing the cooking, whatever it, AI wants to do. And we should be creating art and moving the world in a direction that we want it to go in. So that's how I grew my TikTok. It wasn't a hack. It wasn't anything. It was just authenticity. And I think if you try it, you will be surprised at what you can achieve. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Very many naughty people are not, but we don't talk about them. We thank the people who are subscribed. I really appreciate it. Love you lots like Jelly Tots and I'll see you on the next one.